Now, Metro Atlanta school districts are taking steps to try to protect students and staff. CBS 46's Megan Packer is live for us this morning. She is at a Cartersville Medical Center and the school employees there are going to get some training uh, today. Megan, what can you tell us about that? Right, Gravier, that's what we understand, that Bartow County School District school nurses and lead custodians will go through training at some point today with hospital staff to go over best practices and also to review emergency operation plans. We really are hearing that all Metro Atlanta school districts are going through training or planning, at least in one way or another, just in case there is a potential coronavirus spread or outbreak in our community. We have heard from some of them that say if it does get to the point where a school would have to shut down, to reduce face-to-face -face contact. They do have the ability for students to learn online from home. That's at least what we're hearing from some districts. Much of the focus right now for everybody is on good health practices and making sure schools, uh, district buildings and buses are all cleaned regularly. Some districts are limiting school-sponsored travel or at least reviewing it on a case-by-case -case basis. And some districts, including DeKalb and Fulton County Schools, have even created a coronavirus task force to meet on a regular basis and just make sure that they're staying up on the latest guidance from federal and state health officials. Now, Fulton County Schools did put out a statement saying uh, they recognize there are these two confirmed cases in their county in Fulton County. They wanted everybody to know that does not involve anybody from their school district, no students, no staff, but still they are taking precautions, including those deep cleaning measures and also reviewing their best practices to go over emergency management plans. Live in Cartersville this morning, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.